Have you ever wondered if it's possible to create something from nothing? In today's video, we're diving deep into the fascinating world of quantum physics and spiritual manifestation to explore how the universe itself may be doing just that. From groundbreaking discoveries in graphene to the mysterious Schwinger effect, we'll uncover how the seemingly empty space around us is teeming with energy, potential, and creation. Stay tuned to discover how these scientific breakthroughs mirror the spiritual truth that we are all creators in a universe of infinite possibilities. Whoever said you can't get something from nothing never truly understood the infinite potential of the universe. Modern quantum physics reveals that even in the vast emptiness of space, when conditions are right, new realities can emerge. By simply manipulating space at a quantum level, particles appear as if by magic. When two particles collide, additional particle-antiparticle pairs can spontaneously arise from this void. At the subatomic level, trying to separate a quark from its antiquark pulls forth new particle pairs from the very space between them. It's as though the universe, in its boundless wisdom, always finds a way to manifest more from the unseen. In fact, a strong enough electromagnetic field has the power to create particle-antiparticle pairs directly from the vacuum, with no initial particles required. What once seemed possible only in the high-energy environments of stars or cosmic collisions can now be achieved in a simple laboratory, using the unique properties of materials like graphene. Over 70 years ago, quantum physicist Julian Schwinger predicted this very effect, and now we see it come to life, proving that the universe can indeed create something from nothing. This phenomenon mirrors a deeper spiritual truth. The universe is constantly in a state of creation, where energy and potential exist even in spaces that appear empty. The quantum fields that fill all space remind us that there is always more happening beneath the surface. The nature of the universe is dynamic, constantly in flux, continuously becoming. It reflects a cosmic dance where everything is interconnected, and creation happens moment by moment. In this sense, reality is not a series of static things but an unfolding process of becoming. Manifestation works on the same principles. The energy we put into the universe, whether through thoughts, emotions, or actions, interacts with the unseen fields, bringing forth new possibilities and realities. Just as quantum fields bring particles into existence, so can our intentions create the reality we desire. The challenge is to tap into the deeper understanding of how this universe operates. When we align with these principles, we begin to understand that what appears as nothing is actually the fertile ground from which all things can emerge. Even when we strip reality down to its core components, the quarks, electrons, photons, and all the fundamental particles, the space between them isn't empty. It's teeming with potential, with energy waiting to be shaped. This is the nature of the cosmos, and of our lives as well. By recognizing this, we can step into our power as creators, using the laws of the universe to bring forth our highest desires. The universe cannot truly be emptied or reduced to nothing, for the quantum fields always remain. They are the underlying structure, the blueprint of reality. Like the universal laws of manifestation, they remind us that nothing is ever truly lost or gone. Even in the void, infinite potential exists, waiting to be brought into form through our focused intention and aligned action. If you create a perfect vacuum devoid of all particles and antiparticles, where the electric and magnetic fields are zero, there's still something present in what may seem like maximum nothingness. By placing a set of parallel conducting plates in this region, you would expect them to only experience the force of their mutual gravitational attraction. However, the plates attract each other by a much greater amount than gravity predicts. This phenomenon is known as the Casimir effect, and in 1996, Steve Lamoureux demonstrated it experimentally, 48 years after Hendrik Casimir calculated and proposed it. Let me explain what the Casimir effect is. 
Hendrik Casimir's idea for the experiment was simple. Place two uncharged metallic plates extremely close together in a vacuum, and wait. Spontaneously, as if by magic, the plates will be drawn together. No external forces, no pushes or pulls, no action of gravity, tension, or magnetism. The objects simply get attracted to each other. Why does this occur? The phenomenon is explained by the quantum properties of the vacuum itself. What we perceive as empty space is actually filled with fluctuating electromagnetic fields. These fields create a sea of virtual particles that constantly pop in and out of existence. When two conductive plates are placed very close to each other, they restrict the wavelengths of these virtual particles that can exist between them compared to the space outside the plates. This imbalance creates a pressure difference, resulting in an attractive force that pushes the plates together. While we don't experience or notice the Casimir effect in our day-to-day -day lives, it plays a significant role at the micro and nano levels. For instance, engineers and scientists designing micro and nanoscale devices must account for all forces that could influence the functionality of these tiny systems. The Casimir effect, while negligible at larger scales, becomes a significant force at smaller scales, affecting the interaction between components. Imagine microscale sensors detecting molecules with extreme precision. Without accounting for the Casimir effect, the unexpected attraction between parts could lead to malfunctions or inaccuracies. Now, shifting gears to the Schwinger effect, in 1951, Julian Schwinger, one of the founders of quantum field theory, provided a complete theoretical description of how matter could be created from nothing using a strong electric field. Although earlier work by Fritz Sauter, Werner Heisenberg, and Hans Euler had laid the foundation in the 1930s, Schwinger detailed the conditions under which this effect would occur, and thus it bears his name. We normally expect quantum fluctuations in what seems like empty space, excitations of the quantum fields present. The Heisenberg uncertainty principle teaches us that certain pairs of quantities, such as energy and time, cannot be known precisely at the same time. This principle also applies to other pairs like position and momentum or electric field and polarization density, all of which have profound consequences. Now, imagine increasing the electric field strength in a region. The stronger the field, the greater the energy in that space, and at some point, the quantum vacuum becomes highly polarized. Just as a powerful intention can create new realities from the unseen, this intense field can create real particles out of nothingness by pulling virtual particle-antiparticle pairs apart. These particles draw their energy from the electric field in the same way our manifestations draw from the infinite energy of the universe. Even though we haven't yet observed the Schwinger effect in a laboratory, it's theorized to occur in extreme astrophysical environments like around black holes or neutron stars. This process of creation from nothing mirrors the spiritual concept that the universe is always filled with potential, ready to manifest when conditions are aligned. As creators of our own reality, we can learn from these quantum forces, understanding that the unseen is always brimming with possibility and that what appears empty or impossible can, in fact, be the fertile ground for new creation. On Earth, the strongest electric fields we've created are in laser labs. But even with the most powerful lasers, we're nowhere near strong enough to replicate the extremes of quantum effects. Normally, in conducting materials, only certain electrons can move freely and contribute to conductivity. But if you could create incredibly strong electric fields, you could make all the electrons flow. In January 2022, researchers at the University of Manchester used an ingenious setup with graphene, a super strong material made of carbon atoms, to achieve this with a relatively small magnetic field. This made it easier to observe these quantum phenomena in a controlled experimental setting. Remarkably, they witnessed a form of the Schwinger effect, something previously only theorized. 
they generated what were akin to electron-positron pairs in this quantum system. Graphene is quite unusual, especially because its sheets behave as two-dimensional structures, limiting the quantum states that particles can occupy. In their study, researchers used a graphene-based structure called a superlattice, made of multiple layers of materials arranged in periodic patterns. When they applied an electric field, they observed a unique phenomenon, electrons not only flowed from the highest partially occupied energy states but also from lower, completely filled bands. This led to various exotic behaviors, including the first observation of the Schwinger effect in this quantum form. Instead of creating electron-positron pairs, as in the original prediction, they produced electrons in their condensed matter equivalents, called holes, regions where an electron is missing from the lattice, and which flow in the opposite direction to electrons. The observed currents could only be explained by this spontaneous creation of electron-hole pairs, directly matching Schwinger's predictions from 1951. There are many ways to explore the mysteries of the universe, and quantum analog systems are among the most powerful tools for investigating such exotic physics. These systems, while created and studied in a lab, are governed by the same mathematical principles that describe inaccessible or extreme realms of the universe. Testing the Schwinger effect in its pure form is challenging, but graphene's remarkable properties, such as its ability to withstand immense electric fields, allowed it to manifest, marking a breakthrough in both condensed matter and quantum physics. As co-author Dr. Roshan Krishna Kumar noted, when we first saw the spectacular characteristics of our super lattice devices, we thought, wow, this could be some sort of new superconductivity. But soon, we realized that what we were seeing was not superconductivity but something that bridges the worlds of particle physics and astrophysics. It's fascinating how these seemingly disparate fields, astrophysics and quantum mechanics, are united and showing us the deeper nature of the universe. What emerges from these experiments is a reminder of how the universe creates something from nothing. We don't live in a universe of cold, lifeless matter floating through empty space. Instead, we exist in an energetic sea, where fields of energy interact, weave, and manifest all that we experience, including our own lives. This understanding of energy mirrors the spiritual concept that the invisible, energetic realm is constantly creating the physical reality we perceive. What seems like nothingness is actually rich with potential, waiting to unfold through the right alignment of forces, both physical and spiritual. William Shatner, at the age of 90, embarked on a space journey expecting to encounter the mystery of the universe. However, he found that what he saw was not the majestic awe he anticipated. He described the experience, All I saw was death, cold, dark, black emptiness. Yet, in the paradox of nothingness, Shatner wasn't truly seeing a void. What he observed as nothingness was, in fact, a vacuum where much was happening that he couldn't perceive, a place where energy, virtual particles, and quantum fields are constantly active. Quantum field theory, one of the most successful and accurate theories in physics, explains that our universe isn't made up of matter floating in empty space. Rather, it's a universe of energy fields that permeate everything and interact to create the material world we experience. Some physicists liken these fields to a fluid-like medium, with energy rippling through them like waves on water. These fluctuations and interactions are continuously happening, even in what we perceive as stillness or emptiness. In spiritual terms, this constant activity reminds us that the universe is always in motion, manifesting, creating, and transforming. Just as the quantum fields are full of potential energy that can become particles, the unseen energetic field of the universe is full of potential realities waiting to manifest. By aligning ourselves with this flow, through our intentions, emotions, and inspired actions, we can tap into this creative force. The Higgs field, for instance, is another essential energy field, 
providing mass to particles that otherwise would move at the speed of light. It is through interactions like these that the universe creates everything, from subatomic particles to galaxies. Without these fields, matter would be inert, drifting aimlessly without purpose or interaction. Strangely, the creation of matter from these fields is an exception to the usual destruction of virtual particles. For instance, quarks, the building blocks of protons and neutrons, bind together through the strong force, allowing stable particles to form, which then create atoms, the fundamental units of the visible universe. Despite this, much remains a mystery. We have yet to fully understand why, after the Big Bang, some particles managed to survive while others vanished. In his book A Universe from Nothing, physicist Lawrence Krauss suggests that the very instability of nothingness is what allows creation to occur. This idea echoes spiritual principles, that within the void, creation arises spontaneously, driven by forces beyond our full understanding. Ultimately, no matter how deeply we try to imagine an empty universe, the reality is that even what seems like nothing is filled with possibility. The universe has never been completely empty. As long as energy exists, and it always will, creation continues. This is a lesson for us as conscious creators, as long as we have energy, intention, and alignment, we can manifest our desires from the infinite potential of the universe. Thank you for joining me on this journey into the mysteries of quantum physics and the universe's ability to manifest something from nothing. As we've seen, science and spiritual wisdom align in showing us that everything is connected, and even in the vastness of emptiness, creation is always unfolding. If you found value in this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content on the deeper truths of our reality. Stay curious, stay open, and remember, the power to create your reality is already within you. See you in the next video.